All right, been talking about these log properties. If I have something like LOG base 5, and then I have x squared plus 7x plus 12 over x squared plus 4x. We notice that this is a quotient, so log base 5 x squared plus 7x plus 12 minus log base 5 x squared plus 4x and you might think you can do some more with this but these are not products or quotient so that's it that's all you can do with this one um, the other thing that i mentioned in the previous video you can go either way you can either expand or you can condense these so notice here this looks just like that right and so we have the same bases so I can actually rewrite this so the first thing I'm going to do is my power so I'm gonna have log of 3 to the fifth power minus log of X to the fourth power so that was my first power rule and now from here I can write this as a quotient I'm going to already do 3 to the fifth power which is 243 and then over x to the fourth so that became my quotient um, these can get a little scarier I guess I can say if you have lots of something a little bit bigger let me see log base 5 of 7 plus log base 5 of a and all of that the 4's on the outside and minus log base 5 of 2 so the first thing you want to do is you want to bring this power in so I'm going to have log base 5 of 7 to the 4th plus log base 5 a to the fourth and then I'm just going to leave this log base 5 I'm sure I'm sorry my fives look like a bunch of S's and so this piece right here becomes multiplication log this is all base 5 and the multiplication 7 to the fourth power 2401 times the a to the fourth and then the minus is what makes it a quotient to look like that 